Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Two for Joy Studio. So here you can see the projected water demand in our country. And as in the previous episode, we had shown that it's going to double by 2050. So we need uh, possible interventions to prevent this from happening. When we look at the wastewater production and treatment in countries with high populations, we find China is reusing 70% of its wastewater. Whereas India, on the other hand, is only utilizing 20% of its wastewater. And the population in India is already across China. So that's another grave concern. Furthermore, there are several ways to reuse wastewater after advanced treatment. So one is irrigation. Irrigation, the treated wastewater can be used for irrigation of crops, parks and landscapes. This can help conserve fresh water resources and reduce the demand of portable water. Treated wastewater can also be used in industrial processes such as cooling water for power plants and other manufacturing facilities. Reuse of treated wastewater can also be used for other purposes such as groundwater recharge, wetland restoration or even toilet flushing. In some cases, highly advanced treatment processes such as reverse osmosis or advanced oxidation can provide high quality drinking water from wastewater. Therefore, it is important to note that the feasibility of wastewater reuse depends on several factors, including the quality of treated water, the availability of suitable reuse options, and public perception of such reuse. Moreover, right now, to address this water crisis in India and around the globe, it is a significant challenge that requires immediate attention from individuals and governments worldwide. The issue is becoming increasingly critical as water scarcity, droughts and pollution control continue to threaten public health, the environment and economic stability. So there are a few general steps uh, that we found out in our research which could be taken to help address the water crisis problem in our country. So at number one, we have water conservation. Adopting water conservation practices such as reuse, rain water harvesting and groundwater recharge can help reduce the demand of water and ease the pressure on the water resources. Next is efficient irrigation. India's agriculture sector accounts for about 80% of the water consumption. Using efficient irrigation techniques such as drip irrigation, sprinklers can significantly reduce the water usage. Water pricing would be another one Another aspect where proper pricing of water can encourage consumers to use water more efficiently and can provide an incentive for water providers to invest in infrastructure and maintenance. Public awareness and education again is a very, very important thing right now and it will increase the importance of water conservation and management that can lead to more conscious water usage. Finally, their investment in water infrastructure is going to be very, very important, particularly in rural areas and can improve the availability and quality of water and help it mitigate the water shortage problem. In India, we've seen people face acute water shortage and this situation is only worsening due to the unchecked industrialization groundwater depletion, and poor water resource management. The lack of safe and adequate drinking water is causing severe health issues, particularly in marginalized communities. In other parts of the world, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, Middle East, and Latin America, they are also facing similar challenges. 
Addressing the global water crisis requires a multi-dimensional approach, ladies and gentlemen, that includes water conservation, management, and consumption practices. Governments and societies worldwide must integrate sustainable water management strategies into policies and educate citizens on water saving techniques. It is also crucial to ramp up efforts towards developing advanced technologies such as desalinization and water recycling that can improve access to clean water. The global water crisis has become one of the most pressing issues of our times, affecting millions of people around the world. Unfortunately, India is no exception and is facing a severe water crisis of its own. Despite being home to one of the largest river systems in the world, India still struggles with water shortage, contamination and inefficient usage. The scarcity of water is a challenge that affects communities across the country, from industrial areas to rural villages. To tackle this issue, it is essential that we prioritize the development of advanced technologies that can improve the access to clean water. These technologies are designed to transform unusable or contaminated water into safe and fresh drinking water, directly addressing the root cause of the crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget to watch our next episode, which would be full of next-gen water tech, and you are going to love it.